Hey, everybody. Um, I want to give you just kind of an encouraging word today. And um, one of my intercessors, uh, let, let me rephrase that, one of God's intercessors who partners with us here at Dunamis, uh, gave me a call today and just, just said, you know what, God woke me up in a dream. And he just was yelling at me, Jehoshaphat. And she said, I saw that over this event, over what's coming up May 22nd, over what God's doing in the city and doing at Dunamis. And so she said, I think you need to go look at it. So I did. Went there, went to Second Chronicles chapter 17, and I started reading about Jehoshaphat. So let me tell you some of the things that the Bible says about who he was and what he did. First, it says that he did not worship the images of Baal. He sought his father's God, which is our God, the God of Israel, and he obeyed his commands instead of following the evil practices of the kingdom of Israel. So the Lord established Jehoshaphat's control over the kingdom of Judah. Next, it says that Jehoshaphat sent his officials to teach in all the towns of Judah. Then the fear of the Lord fell. All the surrounding kingdoms, that means all the enemies that he may have had, the fear of the Lord fell on them and they were afraid to attack him. And then it says this, before Jehoshaphat would do anything, he would ask, what is the Lord saying? And isn't that what we teach our Deuteronomists all the time? Learn to hear God's voice. What Jehoshaphat was always concerned with is, God, what are you saying? Uh, in, in verse uh, uh, 5 and 6 there, I believe this is uh, chapter 18, it says, it, Jehoshaphat teams up with another king, and it says, So the king of Israel summoned the prophets, 400 of them, and asked, Should we go to war against Ramath Gilead, or should I hold back? And the prophet said to the king, Yeah, go right ahead. God will give you the victory. But Jehoshaphat asked, is there also a prophet of the Lord here? <laughs> so the king brings all these prophets in. Jehoshaphat's watching what they're prophesying. And right away, he knows this is not the voice of God speaking. These are false prophets. They're not giving us the word of the Lord. He says, is there a prophet of Israel here um, that we could ask this question to? So listen, what is this saying to us? What is God doing? What happens to Jehoshaphat is he becomes incredibly blessed. By following God, restoring and fortifying the armies of Israel, and then doing what God says. And that's what we're doing here in Las Vegas. We're, we're following the voice of the Lord. We're setting up the armies of God, which is you and me, right here in the city. And we're seeing God move. And now you know what we're going to see? The blessing of the Lord flood dunamis. The blessing of the Lord flood your life. The blessing of the Lord begin to flood Las Vegas. And we're going to see the presence and power of God move in this city like you've never seen before. Sometimes God just decides to do something and he says, I'm going to start right here. And our church isn't famous and it's not the biggest in the valley, but God's not looking for that. He's looking for those who hear his voice. So I want to pray for you right now. Put a hand somewhere. And Lord, I just pray that you bless them and touch them right where they are. God, that they'll hear your voice more clearly than ever before in their life. God, that your presence will invade where they are right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, and that all of us would say, what is God saying from this day forward? Thanks for watching. We love you. Expect great things coming here at Dunes.